Hilton Head Island, SC, APM Master's green jacket wasn't enough for Scotty Scheffler. Scheffler was running on emotional fumes, fresh off his first shot victory at Augusta National, but full of purpose. That more than made up for his lack of preparation for the RBC heritage. The result not only was similar, it has come to be expected. He rarely missed a shot, he gave little hope to those chasing him. And he walked away from Harbour Town on Monday morning with another victory. That extended a dominance not seen since the peak years of Tiger Woods. I didn't show up here just to have some sort of ceremony and have people tell me congratulations. I came here with a purpose, Scheffler said after polishing off a 3 under 68 for a three shot victory. Victory was inevitable. Scheffler had a five shot lead with three holes to play when the final round, delayed two and a half hours because of storm Sunday afternoon, was suspended by darkness. It's starting to feel that way whenever he plays. Scheffler now has won four of his last five starts, the exception a runner up finish in the Houston Open when he misread a five foot birdie putt that would have forced a playoff. He considered this one of the tougher wins because it followed the Masters. Coming off the high last week to going into here, not really with a ton of energy, not really with a ton of prep work, Scheffler said. I think it's underrated how difficult it is to do the stuff that Tiger was doing and win like every single week. It takes a lot out of you emotionally and physically, especially major championships. Turns out he had plenty left in the tank. Scheffler now has 40 consecutive rounds at par or better, a streak that began at East Lake in the Tour Championship last August. His position at no. 1 in the world is so great that he became the first player since Woods to crack the 15-point average mark. It's very impressive, Patrick Cantley said. He's played great for a while now, a number of years, and it seems like he is playing the best golf of his life right now. The only competition Monday morning was for second place. The storms brought cold weather and a strong wind. Scheffler missed the 18th green to the right, chipped safely to 18 feet and two-putted for bogey. That ended his streak of 68 consecutive holes with no worse than a par. I hit driver, three wood into there, Scheffler said. So I'm going to count that as a par for myself. Say hath Thigala birdied the 16th hole. Saved par from a bunker on the par 317th, and closed with the par for a 68 to finish alone in second. A difference of $666,667 than if he had finished in a three way tie for second. Even though I finished second, I felt like I was never really in it to win there. Scotty was just so far ahead, Thigala said. Cantley 68 and U.S. Open champion Wyndham Clark who finished his 65 on Sunday before the storms, tied for third.